Happy to announce How to Elope in New York City is now out. You can find it in bookstores and Amazon. It is the most comprehensive guide. And everything is covered here, from the legal stuff to how to deal with difficult family members. Welcome back, how are you? I have become the nightmare of the wedding vendors. <laughs> now nobody wants to do my makeup. They think I'm gonna trash them online. I'm joking, but uh, no, I'm not gonna trash you if you're good. But there's a lot of people out there that are not professional and they act as if they were professionals and you, the bride, um, will go and choose them based on the photos that you see on Instagram and then the joke's on you because on your most important day of your life, um, then you'll be disappointed with your face and that's the worst. So I'm here to give you advice based on my own experience. And that's why I always use my face to show you what they did, where to go, where not to go, who, who you should stay away from, what you should look out for. Because I wish I had that when I was getting married. Um, we don't have that. Nobody has that. You know, maybe you have a friend who had an experience and they share their experience, but everyone's experience is different and unique and um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be helpful to you. Now, because I've been doing this for so, so, so long, I now, at this point, I know the pitfalls, right? I know the things to look out for, the things that tend to always go wrong, but it seems that nobody tells you about. It's very annoying. Uh, for instance, uh, let, let's give the, let, today, let's give the vendors um, a break because I've been attacking vendors for a while now, wedding officials, photographer, makeup artist, hair. Oh, this hair I did myself today. And the makeup, I got it done, but again at the same place, which I don't like, but because I have the membership, I'm gonna use it until the end of the month. I'm gonna use it because it's free and, uh, and it's just for this, so it's, it's no big deal. But if I had an event, I wouldn't use them. If you want to know who they are, you can ask me privately and I'll tell you because I don't want to say it, you know, online. But um, all right, let's talk about non-vendors. Let's talk about your family and friends. They have your best interest, of course. They, they, they love you and they want everything to work out as much as you do, of course. Um, however, because they are family members or friends, uh, there is an element that is never talked about and is never discussed, and this really annoys me. I feel like those pregnant women, that all of a the sudden they realize what it is like to give birth, and it's a lot of stuff that nobody ever told them. I hear that a lot. I don't have kids, but I hear that a lot. And it must be so annoying, right? It's so, so annoying. I, why nobody talked about this? Oh, I didn't know this would happen. So with, with the wedding, it's, it's very similar. There is one thing that nobody talks about and it is the way your family and friends behave during your wedding. The days leading up to your wedding and more specifically and more specially on your wedding day. Something happens, folks. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know, I don't understand it. I'm not a psychiatrist, but something weird happens where people act funny. Full stop. Take it or leave it. <laughs> you will see on your wedding day, you will see whether I am right or not. So um, anybody who's, you know, you're, the closer they are to you, the more likely they are to have a reaction to things. And this doesn't mean that it is a negative reaction. No, no, I'm not saying they're gonna, you know, I, which that happens as well, but we'll get to that later. Um, if the person is really close to you and if they love you, emotions run high. And just as it is for you very anxious, um, it's, it's an anxious driven moment. It's, you know, the, unhi the anxiety is typically really high and the nerve, you know, the nerves are just right there for you, the couple, the, the bride and the groom. 
Just as it is for you, it will be for those family members and friends who are close to you and they love you and they are excited for you and they get emotional for you. And sometimes, let's say, with, like this happened to me. Good people, awesome people. They, they, you know, fantastic. They are my best friends and they were there and uh, they acted stupid. Not on purpose, but it was like, uh, especially there's this one girl and she's a, she's a genius. Like in life, she runs a hedge fund. I mean, she's, she runs the world. She's really smart. She's fast and smart and she's awesome. But on my wedding day, she was there like, like a, a deer in the headlights. You know, she was kind of, and later I realized, you know, it's between the emotions What's happening, what's happening for me, it's also happening to her because you know how energy travels. And when we are close to someone, we can all pick up on other people's uh, feelings, emotions, and energy. So why am I telling you all this? Don't give tasks and things to do to your friends. You will be disappointed. They will not respond as fast or as quickly or as whatever as you wanted them to. Even my, I mean, I have my, my good friend, Victor, uh, who's awesome and he really actually saved the day. I love, I love Victor because he's, uh, he's a doer, you know, he'll go, he's very decisive. Being decisive is really important for this, this type of work. And he was in, I don't know if he was in charge or he just took it upon himself to set up the uh, aisle runner and the rose petals and set up the whole ceremony thing. Uh, I don't know that it was his job, but he did it. Uh, he didn't do exactly what I would have wanted, what I pictured, but that's fine because I'm sure I didn't tell him. I didn't take my time to explain how the flowers <laughs> had to be set up. Uh, but he, he made the decision and he went and he did it. And even he, you know, who's so fantastic, he made some mistakes because you know, it's an exciting day and, uh, and he's not working for me. He's my good friend. And, you know, emotions are a very tricky thing. And, and with that said, another thing that happens with the family and friends is that they will give you advice before the wedding. Oh my God. I would say, don't listen to that advice. <laughs> I said, just listen to a professional. You can always call me. You can hire me or someone like me to consult, um, but it's it, even as I am saying it, I'm telling you, it is so draining to hear uh, all the advice, all the comments, all the suggestions, the do's and the don'ts that come from your close ones. Everybody has something to say. And uh, it can be very draining for the couple. So do yourself a favor. Just like I told you, I'm not going to get into that today because I'm beating it to death, but I will come back with that next video. I'm not going to talk about the vendors, but just like I always do and tell you about the vendors, don't go cheap on your wedding vendors. Please do your homework, research them, watch videos of them, see what they look like, see how they work, do all that. Today, I'm giving you this really important advice about your family and friends. It's really hard to keep them out of the conversation. It's impossible. Everybody will comment on your wedding. It just happens. But do yourself a favor and plan some alone time between you and your spouse-to-be every day where you sit together and you look into each other's eyes I know this sounds so stupid and so crazy, but try it. Sit with them, look into their eyes, and breathe together for five minutes, sort of like a meditation. If you're used to meditating, you know what I mean. If you're not used to meditating, just follow my lead, follow my advice, sit down facing each other, you hold hands, you look at each other, and you breathe from today until the day of your wedding. Do this every night. In the meantime, during the day, <laughs> you do this every night with them. During the day, you're going to be doing shopping for the wedding, vendors, uh, 
then you, hair, makeup, parents, friends, you're gonna figure out who you're gonna invite, what you're gonna do, blah, 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 flights, this, that, all the wedding stuff, you're gonna hear comments, you're gonna watch videos and other people's weddings and other people's comments and other people's suggestions, all of that is gonna be happening. And it's inevitable, you can avoid that. It's gonna happen. So the only thing that you can do is to ground yourselves together, very important, because all these conversations can pull you apart as well. And I'm gonna get into that in the next video about family members and their emotions. And when they are not quite 100% so thrilled for your choices, that happens too. So with all that stuff happening, you want to connect with your partner, ground yourselves, and let your spirit speak to you. If you do this, if you follow my advice and you connect with your partner every night for five or evening or whatever, 6 p.m., 5 p.m., whatever time, connect every day, five minutes, look into each other's eyes, you will see, you will build immunity to all the chatter that is happening around you. It will make you stronger and it will make you assertive. Whatever you want to do, you will do. You won't doubt, you won't hesitate, and you won't be pulled in seven different directions. Really important. Do that and do that when picking vendors as well. So instead of going with your head, when you pick a vendor, oh, uh, yeah, whatever, yeah, this makes sense because blah, 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 blah. Or going with your wallet, <laughs> go with your heart. Let your spirit speak to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was a bit too long. I love you guys. I just want you to have the best day ever. If you need anything, you can always ask. Comments and questions are always welcome. Oh, my love.